When you look at this image, do you feel anything? What about this one? Or this one? Or even this? If you've never played Gorilla Tag, you most likely won't feel anything. But if you have, these photos will give you the same feeling as looking at other liminal photos, reminding you of simpler times. And that's what we will be discussing today, the liminality of Gorilla Tag. There are three different types of liminal photos, but to start off, let's talk about nostalgic photos. Nostalgic photos makes the viewer wish that they were there, and that they could experience the moment that the photo was taken. These images tend to exaggerate good parts from our childhood, adding to the nostalgia. When looking at old Gorilla Tag photos, I also get a sense of bittersweet happiness, remembering not only the simplicity of the game, but my childhood and the hours I could spend outside of reality. It may sound silly, but Grill Tech has truly changed the person I am, and the game's social aspects allowed me to be competitive and social, which is not seen in many other games. That's why looking back at these old maps and photos reminds me of the world with unknown secrets, new knowledge, and skills waiting to be mastered. While I do love nostalgic photos, I would be lying if I said they were my favorite. That brings us to the second type of liminal photo, liminal fear. Unlike nostalgic photos that exaggerate the good parts of our childhood, liminal fear exaggerates the scary parts. This fear is unlike any other scary images as it feels more personal placing you in familiar places. This can be seen clearly in Gorilla Tag, but specifically the old caves map. If you ever played in this map alone, you'll know the feeling that is created. And of course, looking at these old photos still gives me that unnerving feeling that something is watching or following you. Again, if you've never played or experienced this, it may seem silly that something like this would be scary, but it's the feeling of what if? What if something like this were to happen when you were playing by yourself back then? And that's why I love Liminal Fear so much, as a single image can haunt memories. Moving on to the final type of Liminal Photo, Dreamcore. Dreamcore is like having a daydream, where everything is pretty, but nothing really makes sense. Dreamcore images usually have a weirdly aesthetic visual, and encapsulate other genres such as Fruitage or Arrow. In terms of Gorilla Tag, however, Dreamcore images show their light with out-of-bounds areas of the maps, often feeling distant as they don't appear real. This type of liminal photo is one of the strangest, as it invokes a feeling that can't be well explained. It is partly nostalgia, but it isn't fully. Dreamcore is just like the name suggests, it feels like looking into a dream. Gorilla Tag is such a beautiful game, and watching it grow adds even more to the nostalgia. But if you're a recent player, don't be discouraged. Don't be remorseful of not experiencing the good days, as the good days are right now. Treasure the moment, as in a few years, you may look back and wish you had. Thank you for watching the video, and if you liked it, please consider subscribing. I'm gone for now guys. Peace.